in order to make your storyline course accessible and 508 compliant, one of the things you need to do is create alt text. Alt text is a text replacement for images and graphics. This is important because people who are hard of seeing rely on screen readers to read off what's on the screen. And the screen reader announces the images and graphics as text. I'm just going to create an alt text for the eye icon. You click on the graphic, right click it, and go to accessibility. Make sure the checkbox is checked, then create a description for the graphic. Do that for the rest of the icons. For the text, go to accessibility and make sure the checkbox is ticked. You don't need to create a description for it, it will just use the text that is on screen. You'll need to do that for the rest of the icons. For mine, you can see that the description is already there, and that is because I already wrote the description before. For yours, it won't be like that. You'll notice that I'm clicking several times to get to the actual icon. That's because those are a grouped object. If you look at the fourth item here, you're going to see that the icon of the person and the icon of the line are two separate items or two separate objects. But for accessibility, you don't need to put descriptions for both the person and the red line that goes across it. What you can do for the line is to make sure the alt text is unchecked. That way the screen reader won't read that item. But for the icon of the man, you'll add in the description of the line along with the man. Here I'm just going and finishing off of the rest of the items. Now for the text objects, if you go to accessibility, you want to make sure the alt text is checked, but you don't need to provide the description of the text. Storyline would just read the actual text box. Here I'm just checking that the image of the arc is also labeled and checked. Now that all the items on the screen are labeled and checked to be included for accessibility, we need to make sure that all the objects are going to be in the right order. In order to do that, go to the Home tab, then Focus Order. Then you'll get a dialog box. Make sure the Create a Custom Focus Order radio button is ticked. That way we can rearrange the objects to make it flow properly. The Focus Order is what the screen will read from top to bottom. If you look at the bottom right column that says Alternate Text, that is what the screen reader will read out loud. So on the screen, the first thing that the screen reader will read is the background image of the person staring. The second item Congratulations. is the Congratulations, you've taken the, the third first item is the large text in the middle. Then it continues on. I'm going to preview the slide to double check the order of the on-screen elements. As you can see, the elements go from left to right. So. We go back to the focus order and go through the items and make sure that they go in the proper order. Here, I want the icon to read before the text. So what I'm doing is moving the order up by clicking on the up arrow. I'm just going to do this for all the ones where the text shows before the icon. Here I have this untitled layer. It's almost an empty layer and all it has is just a text that says click the right arrow to continue. So at the base layer, there is a trigger that says show this layer when the timeline ends. For accessibility, we want this to also show in the screen reader. And we have it as the very last item. Now I'm going to publish it. Go to the directory of your choice pick a folder, and then publish it out. Now, this is the part where you're gonna use a screen reader to test to make sure that the tab order works properly. Before you preview, you wanna make sure that you open the screen reader software. This is a free screen reading software. I'll provide the link in the description, and you wanna make sure that it's on. Automatically, you're gonna start hearing the robo voice come on. I'm gonna go to the end of the slide, and then click on the down arrow on your keyboard. Main click landmark right clickable background image of person staring and thinking graphic. Notice that the first thing that the screen reader read was the background image. This is good. Arc with text inside. That was supposed to be the second item, so it's going in order. You've taken the first steps. Remember, mentally and physically rehearsing it is essential. Now the text. 
The next should be the icon of the eye along with the text that comes right after. Graphic eye. Click on the down arrow again and then you'll get the text. Pay attention to ways you can improve it. There you go. Graphic paper and pen. Review and discuss your plan with others. And it's going to keep going from left to right as we click on the down arrow. Graphic fold and open map. Consider creating an evacuation map. Graphic man running with a line across. Running may not always be the best option. Graphic icon of a desk with computer. Have hiding places identified as well. Now the next one should be click the right arrow to continue, but you'll notice that it doesn't work. Toggle button pressed play slash pause. It goes straight to the menu buttons on the bottom, and this is not what we want. So we're going to go back to storyline and make some edits. We're going to go to the untitled layer that has the click the right arrow to continue and figure out what's going on. And you'll notice a whole bunch of duplicate items for this text. This is because I was trying to replicate a blinking effect so that the text goes in and out. Since this is going to be the text that's going to stay on screen the whole time, we want to make sure that the accessibility for this one is turned on. And as you can see, it wasn't on. So we're going to check it. And since this is a text layer, it should automatically generate the exact text that you see on screen. Now we go to the base layer and then go to the focus order. And right now you'll see that there are two click the right arrow to continue. We're going to delete the second to the last one because that one doesn't even show on screen after it blinks and keep the last one. Then we're going to publish again uh, and then preview once more. 500 and a given your mental rehearsal. Main landmark. And here I'm just clicking on the down arrow to make sure that all of the alt texts are appearing properly. Now we're going to go to the last object, which is have hiding places identified as well. Have hiding places identified as well. And right after that should say click the right arrow to continue. Click the right arrow to continue. Great. Now the alt text is in order and working properly. Now you just want to do that for all of your slides. And that's how you do an alt text. If you have any questions, feel free to ask away. Thank you.